Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Performance Enhancing Podcast with your host, Elon Ferdman. I have a uh, shortened version of a podcast for you today. It should only be about 15 minutes or so long. Uh, the reason it is is because I shared something on Facebook Live uh, a couple of days ago, and it's uh, just gotten amazing responses. It was a massive lesson that I learned about dealing with patients and a practice, a practice that I put in on daily. And uh, I want to just offer it to you. And I didn't think that I could say it better than I did on Facebook Live. So um, this is um, that video. Um, you'll, you'll get to hear the, the whole story of how I got there. And uh, I just hope that you guys at the end of this are willing and up for taking the challenge to actually take on this practice in your life for the next 30 days and see the kind of magic and shifts that it'll uh, elicit for you in your life and the people around you. So enjoy uh, my little pep talk here from Facebook Live and I'll see you here soon. Have a great day, guys. Hi everyone, Elon here. Uh, it's been a while and I actually don't know whether going live or, let me actually get closer to the house, whether going live or uh, doing videos is better, but I don't know. I'll mix it up. You guys let me know what you prefer. But anyway, not the point of this. What I wanted to share today with you guys is um, an exercise that's really been changing the way I live my life. And I don't know if you can tell. I have this like weird, stupid grin on my face. And uh, it's all really because of this one thing that I've just implemented into my life recently. And I had to share with you guys because... It's really been making a profound difference. It's super simple to do. So before I, all right, I think I'm back. So um, before I share the actual exercise with you guys, I wanna just explain to you the idea of giving a gift and receiving a gift. So when you guys give a gift, uh, and that gift could be anything. It could be a physical gift, it could be a kiss, it could be a generous hug, it can be spending time with someone. You feel amazing, right? And that feeling is something that you can cultivate inside of yourself and the more you get into that feeling of giving, uh, the better your life actually shines. So there's practice, it's actually called a meta practice, okay? And in this meta practice, what you do is, in a meditative state, what you do is you send love to people in your life. Um, so it could be people that you love, people that you adore, people that are far away. It doesn't matter. You just really just hold them in your mind's eye and send them love. Really, really send them love. So that's a practice that I've been doing uh, in a meditative state. I recently took this practice out into the real world. One of the things I struggle most with is patience. I have, it's been one of the biggest things that I struggle with. I'm sure you I mean, most human beings struggle with patience. And the thing that I struggle most with, most with is people who are slow. So people that think slow, people that drive slow, all that stuff used to irritate me, like really, really, really irritate me. And it's been something that I've been working on for a decade plus. I'm not kidding you. It's like one of these persistent things that I'm always looking for that next onion layer right, of around patience. So what I've started doing recently is... Two, it's a two-part thing. One, the first thing is a context. You just have to get who human beings are. So if you understand that we are a soul basically trapped in a physical body and we've chosen this experience like this, you know, whatever I'm living in right now, this is the chosen experience that my soul wanted to have this time. And every one of us in essence, is their own God. Every one of us is a soul here living a physical experience or having a physical experience, ones that we chose to have in order to learn and grow and develop and, and for our soul's sake, right? So if every single one of us is one of these souls on planet Earth in this physical body doing our thing, right? Then what you can start to conceptualize or, or get into your uh, world is, sorry, Jay, um, I, I hope it's good. Is the connection good for, for everybody else? Just let me know. Um, it might just be, might be you, Jay. Uh, in any event, so the if every single one of us is a soul having 
this experience, okay? Then each one of us, you can start to comprehend it. Each one of us is slightly on a different path. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Each one of us is slightly on a different path, right? And so if someone's moving slow or if someone's doing things not the way necessarily that my ego judges them to be right or sound or whatever, and you can take this from the most benign thing to the most insane things like the shootings that we've had and all this kind of stuff, each one of us is here to live out their path. And who the fuck am I, little old me, soul here, who am I to judge what that person's path is, right? So now, that's the context, okay? Understanding that every one of us is a God walking amongst us, trying to experience their own thing for their betterment, okay? If you get that, so this is the practice that I've been doing. Imagine that you see someone walking on the street or today I was driving and I was driving in the car and I was stopped at a red light and I just watch as these cars drive by me and every single person that drives by me, this is the, the act that basically I do. I almost feel like I'm reaching out this super, super long hand and touching their heart and in that moment, I'm just sending them love and wishing that their journey sees them find what they came here to find. And you just do this ongoingly, person after person, bike riders, people walking in the streets, people that I drop off, uh, my kids at camp this morning, and I'm just literally like that, that, imagine that, just reaching out, touching someone's heart and sending them love. Just being like, I love you and what you came on this earth to do and I wish that you achieve what you came here to achieve and may it be as Um, basically the process that I go through is may it be as fruitful as you wanted it to be. And in doing so, here's what I found. I've been doing this now for probably about a week or so straight. And, and two, there's been two major, major things, right? I started this by saying about gift giving the process of constantly doing this, of giving, 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 and like sharing this love with other people has been profound in the sense of like you are filled by that which you know so i get to be filled with love by the virtue of me giving that love and linda you nailed it it really is a buddhist practice and it's it's something that i've read about and and thought about and i was like oh that's really clever but i've actually for the first time implemented it in my life on a very very regular basis so that's been one amazing thing the other amazing thing is that it makes you super present and aware of all things that are happening in your moment at that time. To the point that as I'm walking, I'm much more attuned to trees. I'm much more attuned to how many steps I'm taking. I'm much more attuned to um, what is happening in the street and with the, it's just crazy. And in doing so, I find myself, like literally I was driving and the reason I wanted to make this live video is because I was driving and I find myself like driving like this with this like stupid childish grin on my face. And I'm thinking, what, what have I been doing differently? And this is the exercise that I've been doing differently. So I wanted just to offer this to you guys and hope that you are at least willing to give this a try. I personally believe that if you do anything for 30 days, it will completely revolutionize your life. And to some of you, 30 days might be like, wow, that's fucking crazy. 30 days is a long time and you're going to forget and you're going to remember, but when you remember, just do it, like actively do this thing and see what happens in your life. I'd love to hear from you guys as you are doing this, what is actually occurring in your world and what you're seeing as shifts. Cause for me, it's been absolutely massive and I've been trying to work on patience for so long and it's, it's it almost feels dumb to me that it's just like been sitting under my nose and at my fingertips all this time. But I hope for you, if you're if you're finding yourself stressed, if you're finding yourself irritated or easily irked, uh, look, there's a lot of assholeness happening around us all the time. But we are just we're just as big of a contributor to the assholeness as anyone else, right? We're not all great all the time. It's just impossible as a human being to do so. So A, give yourself that 
leeway to just be like, okay, I, when I'm aware of myself being an asshole, that's a great thing. That's already a, a one percenter. And then just practice this. Give people love. Reach out. Whether you're at work right now or in your car or in a coffee shop, like just look at someone and reach out to them. And here's how I know that like sometimes it works freaky is if you're really, really focused in on that person, even if their back is turned to you, they will actually turn. We're all energy, right? And when someone feels that energistic love and that heart and that hug and that warmth and whatever, we can't help but be impacted by it. But you're the one that's going to get the greatest benefit of this. So just wanted to share that with you guys. If anyone is willing to take that up in the comment box below or, you know, throw a thumbs up or hit a heart or something like that and just acknowledge like, yes, I'm up for taking this practice on. Yes, I'm up for doing this. And even if you want to share this with like, someone far away in your life that you're just you want them to know that you're thinking about them do that like let's imagine if you lived in a world where everyone around you were just doing that like you were just receiving love from all these different people just what a world that would be so anyway that's my uh my little rant for today hope you guys enjoy it what's up paul and uh, yeah go out there and just be great with people Share that love and see them as who they are, which is just another soul going around this planet this time around trying to figure shit out. And maybe they're just at a different plane or at a different vibration at this time. And you can still honor and love that because they're on this crazy journey called life with all of us. Love you all. So like I said, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this uh this little pep talk here. And I really hope that you guys actually try this for yourself in your life. I mean, it's just made profound, profound difference in the way that I view life and the way that I view the world as, as I clearly mentioned. Uh, lastly, I want to make you guys aware this Thursday, Guy and I will be having a live um, event again, uh, all around mindset and our ego and similar conversations to this. So if this stuff resonates with you and you want to figure out how to kind of take this thought process to the next level, quiet the ego, become more of your true authentic self, then uh, if you're not subscribed to our mailing list, then head over to storyprime.com right now and subscribe. And we'll be sending out emails uh, today through Thursday, letting you know about this event. So make sure that you get subscribed right away so you do not miss this upcoming live event. We look forward to seeing all of you there. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day and week and we'll talk to you real soon.